let's talk about some basic compass construction ideas. Compass is a circle maker. With that, we can do a lot of things. They will be helpful when we make quadrilaterals or if we are making segments inside of triangles. One is that I always want to know where the center of my circle is. So always put a dot before you make a circle. Some people are good at making a circle by turning the compass. Some people are good by turning the paper. So there's our circle. One reason we like circles is because if we were to draw a radius, we know that's a certain size. And we also know if we were to draw another radius, it would be the same size. Same concept goes with if we were to draw a diameter. We know that that is a certain size. So for example, if we were to draw a second circle of the same size, we would be able to make matching segments. Because if they're the same size circle, they have to be the same size diameter. Other things that happen when we intersect circles. So let me put a line down because I need to make my circles on the same line. Put a center for where my circle is going to be. And then draw my circle there. And now let's make a second circle that overlaps. I'll make it the same size. Overlap as much or as little as you want. What has happened is two things. One, from here to here has been bisected. And it's been bisected in a perpendicular manner. I need the overlaps. Draw a line through the overlaps. That is a perpendicular. And again, it's also bisected the distance from here to here. So that is the same size as that. So two important things happen. I made a perpendicular and I made a bisector. So if I need to cut things half or I need to make right angles, I overlap two circles. Now what if I did two different size circles? What's going to happen here? So let's draw our line, so I want to put them on the same line. They don't always have to go on a line, but most of the time they do. We'll draw two different size circles. One circle, now they got to overlap, make this one bigger, but not too big. So again, we've got a distance going from here over to there, between the centers of our circles. I've got some intersections of circles, and I want to connect those intersections. When we connect those intersections, we still get a perpendicular. But what you need to notice is that because the circles are different size, I did not bisect that distance between the centers. I still got a perpendicular, and sometimes that's all I want is a perpendicular. But if I want a perpendicular bisector, this distance is getting cut in half right here. I have to draw the same size circles. That's important. The other thing is if I were to do that twice on the same line, I've got my centers on this line, centers are on the same line. We are making a 90 here and a 90 here. 
that makes these two lines parallel. So some important things about constructing. If I make circles the same size or make circles of a known size, I know that these are congruent. I know that these diameters are congruent if they're the same size circle. If I overlap circles, I'll get a perpendicular. And if they're the same size circle, I'll get a bisector. If I just make any size circles, I just get a perpendicular, which is very important in some things. If I do two sets of circles on the same line, I'm going to make a perpendicular to here, and I'll make another perpendicular here, which makes these two lines parallel. 